So that brings to mind the question of how do loan underwriters manage the risk of a loan? How do you weigh, well, it has this problems, but it has these benefits and, and therefore it's, it's still a good enough loan to make. <laughs> yeah, so I think there's three ways to deal with risk uh, for me. You can either compensate for higher risk, you can mitigate the risk, or you can dilute that risk. And let me give you some examples. Uh, for example, let's say a, a, a buyer, a borrower is buying a property that has really high vacancies, very low debt service ratio. So most of the banks are going to say, hey, no, <laughs> we're not doing this loan. Okay, how do we mitigate that? Maybe the borrower has other income sources that we can say, well, meanwhile, they can use the other income sources to compensate until they, they get this property back online and, and bring it up to a debt service ratio that it that it that it works um, so that's a way to mitigate it we can probably do uh, holdback for interest reserves for 12 months and say okay for the next 12 months you won't have to do mortgage payments meanwhile you can do your TIs and get your property up to speed and and then they will that service so that's a way to mitigate uh, another way that we can do is to dilute the risk, and that's by adding additional collateral the borrower may have. Maybe the borrower owns two or three properties that are free and clear, or they have enough equity in them where we can do a cross collateral and, and dilute that risk that that property has. Um, a third way is to compensate for it. And the borrower may say, well, I'm, the lender may say, well, I'm, I'm willing to take the risk uh, that this loan is going to go bad, but for that, I need to have a little higher interest rate. So that's a, that's a way to, to get compensated for the additional risk. So those are the three ways that I see, and maybe a combination of those three, maybe just one of those that we need to, to make the loan happen.